Now that's what I like to see, 91 rune crafting. It's pretty irrelevant, double nature runes, but we can do them now. I mean, back in the day it used to be so good, but now it's not that special. But I can do them, so that is kind of cool. Although I will say, I'm not saying they're not worth doing. They're still worth doing. I think it's still over 1 mil an hour. It's just that I can make a lot more money doing other things, but that's cool. 91 rune crafting. Dragon claws. Hey! <laughs> that's yes, all my yes. items, and that's my 500th raid. Hey! hey that was solid. That's clean. Love it. That is fucking I'm, sick. I'm surprised dude. I called that. That's amazing. Hey. That is fucking amazing. Where they claws? Claws in my name. Come on, here's the split. It should be like 25 mil? 27 mil. Actually, that's basically 28 mil because it's 967k. That's a very nice split. I'm going to go get myself some bonds. But yeah, with those dragon claws, I have now seen every item from raids. So that's a really cool achievement. Hey, there we go. 89 mining. And we need one more level and we're base 90s on all the skills. Don't get anything from that and it's asking for my pin. But 500k till 90 mining. I've actually been kind of enjoying mining recently here. This is interesting. Um, this is my second elite clue on these abyssal demons right now. Um, as you can see, if I scroll up, you can see that I actually did a couple of clues earlier. I was actually going to record them, and I thought I was recording, and I opened them, and then I went back to save the clip, and I didn't record anything. It's kind of weird, but let's go ahead and do these clues. Hopefully, we actually record this. All right, we're going to open up the heart clue first. Okay. 84k, and the elite. Nice. We got ourselves a master clue. We're going to go do that. But in total, let's see what we got from all the stuff. We price check it all. 330k, and let's see what we get from the master clue now. I want to see something over 1 mil. That would be really cool. Well, it's not even the chest. Feels bad. Let's see where it wants me to go. Wait. I got the same clue! That's kind of cool. Alright, that's the seventh stuff. This is definitely it right here. 400k? Alright, I was saying 1 mil, but 400k works as well. I'm glad we had the same step twice, like, back to back. That's only happened to me once. Well, this is my second time now. Hey, there we go. We're doing ourselves a Kraken task right now, and we just picked ourselves up a Trident of the Seas. That's an easy 1 mil. Nice, we just picked ourselves up a brittle key from Gargoyles. I think I might try the boss at least once, because I've never done it before. I've got the key on my hardcore, I just haven't done it, because I don't see the point of doing it on the uh, Iron Man. At least until I get Bando's boots. But I'm going to attempt to um, try this boss out. I right, use brittle key on the roof entrance, and let's go in. And we actually unlocked the last piece of music, so I can get my music cape back as well. Alright, I did terrible. I just like went into it blindly, but there's the first one. I don't know if these are even good, but might as well pick it up. Alright, since I'm grinding out some of this boss right now, I'm gonna buy myself an eternal gem. I've actually been wanting to buy this for a long time now, but I just, you know, never did. But here's the eternal gem. I'm gonna go ahead and make the slayer ring, and then I can pretty much trash all these slayer rings. I had quite a bit of them, but... I don't know, just having to never recharge or grab a new Slayer Ring. I mean, the convenience of that is just, I think it's worth it. I would never actually buy one if I was poor, but I have a lot of extra money right now, so I might as well go ahead and make a ring that's never gonna degrade. I feel the same way about the Eternal Glory. If I ever started doing a bunch of medium clues, I'm totally buying one. The Furnace, I don't think I have to like do anything. You just use it, and that instantly just makes it. Very nice. But that's a feels good investment right there. Now I don't ever have to worry about that. Alright guys, here we go. We're halfway to 99 rune crafting now. We're 92 rune crafting. And we can now make three body runes. That's gonna be bank loot. But no, seriously, halfway to 99 is so nice to see. We're actually getting pretty close to a new agility level as well, but I'm just in the mood to do some rune crafting, so probably get some decent amount of XP and then I'll go jump back onto some agility. You, yeah, you, yeah, you! Yeah. Got 98 agility. Only one more level to go on this terrible skill. 1.2 mil XP. Didn't unlock anything from that, but obviously the next skill 
is the big boy level. I am going back to mining because I'm almost done with that. Well, I'm almost level 90 on that, not done with it, but yeah, I don't like Demented Agility right now. I just burnt myself out too much on it, but only one more level, so I'm kind of intrigued just to finish it at this point. But technically, if I'm not doing agility and I'm training mining or runecrafting or slayer, it's not like I'm wasting time on my way to max. I'm still, you know, it's still time getting put in anyways. Come on. 90 mining. Nice. I'm glad we got enough XP for that. And nothing for that. But we are base 90s now, so every skill is above 90. That feels good. But we're getting closer to max, and we're actually about to level up runecrafting here soon, too. 146k till 93 runecrafting. Okay, so I just finished up a gargoyle task, and I got a superior. I ended up getting this. I got myself an eternal gem. So yeah, that's an easy 7.5 mil right there. And that's the first time I've ever hit the rare table on the superiors. Uh, let's see how many superiors I've gotten. I've gotten 42. So I don't know if that's lucky or not, but... I feel like it is a little lucky. I'm sure some people have gone drier, I'm sure some people have gotten luckier, but yeah, it's cool to see, but let's grab a new task. 135 trolls, that's going to take like 10 minutes. Hey, we just did a cow fight queen, we got some uh, cow fights right now as a task, and we just got ourselves a KQ head. That's kind of cool, so we have extra KQ heads now, I don't know what to do with them, but I guess I'll throw them into my bank as a trophy. Okay, so we're doing some more Cal Fight Queen, and we picked ourselves up an Elite Clue. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Hopefully I get myself a Master Clue from this reward. Okay, here's the Elite Casket. Let's go ahead and open it. Ooh, we got Holy Wraps. That sells for about 600k. That's a nice clue. The Ranger gloves would have been a lot better, but still, I can't complain with the Holy Wraps. That's nice. Wait, what can we gamble? Just the Collector Points. All right. Let's do one gamble on collector. Let's see what we get. You got something. You've won 278 law runes. I won 21 torsos from that one. How much is that? 173k. Decided to throw in some barrows. Um, got myself a Carol's Coif right there. But yeah, I guess I just wanted to throw in a little bit of PVM so the video wouldn't be just, you know, agility and runecrafting. I know these next few videos are probably going to be a little... Uh, I'll try to throw in more PVM just so it doesn't seem so boring, just like runecrafting only, because that's kind of where I'm at right now in the series. But yeah, I was kind of going for an elite clue because I wanted a master. Um, I had put my luck into Barrows, but didn't seem to get the elite clue there, so I went ahead and went over to Lava Dragons, and I ended up getting my elite there, so that was nice. Hey, we just picked ourselves up an elite clue. I'm going to kill this one see if we get double elites. Probably not, but I figured why not. I, I don't even think I have a way of coming out and getting it. No, I don't. But, um, yeah, let's pick up the stuff and we'll do a price check. Boom, boom. And we did 28 Lava Dragon, so 400k plus the elite. Actually, 420k. So 420k plus the elite clue. Watson, take all my clues. You already gave Watson that tier of clue. Did I? Interesting. Hand over the elite. Oh, so I only needed the elite. All right, there's the master clue. Let's give him all these ones then. Hand over all. So now we only need one more elite. 505k clue? I'll definitely accept that. Not a bad master clue, to be honest. Yay! We got holy sandals. I know that could have been ranger boots, but who cares? 500k. That's a nice medium clue. All right, here we go. 93 rune crafting, and it's currently six, well, five or six days until Dragon Slayer 2 comes out. I'm trying to rush out 95 rune crafting for Wrath runes, so I'm gonna be here for the next five or six days. So, yeah, hopefully I can get 95 rune crafting. But yeah, that's looking pretty good. Oh, 750k. That hurts a little bit. Let's go to Duradel, we'll get a new task and see what we can get from him. Blue Dragons, yes! Ooh, I'm so happy to get that. I'm saving that for Dragon Slayer 2 right now. Very nice. That actually comes out in two days. I'm going to be posting this video, so tomorrow for you guys by the time you're watching this. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video off here. I'll probably jump back onto runecrafting. I'm not going to get um, 95 like I was planning to, just because like during the whole... New Year's Eve and Christmas and all that stuff. I didn't play nearly as much as um, I thought I would. 
I was just so busy doing stuff with people and family. Real life stuff, had to kind of stop doing some of the games for a little bit, but it's all good. And but like I said, we're going to go ahead and end the video off here. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out.